Let's look at type of assets. So broadly, there are three categories of assets. Two of them are based on time, whether the assets are expected to be realized in, short, in a short term or a long term. And the third one is whether the assets are uh, touchable, tangible or not, right? So let's go through them one by one. Current assets, all cash and cash equivalents are considered as current assets and cash equivalents are really not cash but very short term investments or any assets that can be quickly converted into cash if required. Current assets are also expect, expected to be converted into cash or cash equivalents within 12 months. And similarly, any assets that are expected to be sold or consumed within the normal operating cycle of the business. So normal operating cycle is really the business cycle, you know, when a company uh, buys and sells. So the average time it takes from buying something, uh, buying a product and then selling it and receiving cash for it is called a normal operating cycle. And if any asset is usually expected to be sold or consumed within the normal operating cycle, and really this refers mainly to inventory, the stock, because it is converted in the normal conversion cycle, or it is also referred to, referring to accounts receivable, the amount that is due on amounts sold to customers. Uh, this is usually already converted into cash in a normal operating cycle. So this represents cash and cash equivalents. Let's take a look at the examples. So if we go back to our list of assets uh, and if we had to highlight current assets, the current assets would be cash at hand or bank, the inventory as we discussed, normal operating cycle, accounts receivable again, normal operating cycle, prepayments, uh, and some prepayments could be long term as well. It depends on the, the time within which that asset is expected to be realized but usually we see prepayments are mostly short term and then investments could also be both short term or current and long term so again it depends on the maturity of the investments some investments you will see as current or short term and some will be classified as long term now in which financial statement do we find assets you should know it by now yes it's the balance sheet so here is an example of Nike. This is their consolidated balance sheet for the year ended May 31, 2022. And if you're thinking why it is May 31 and not December 31, well, December 31 is the calendar year end, but many organizations do not necessarily have the same year end as the calendar. So their 12 months period, their fiscal year or their financial year could be any other month during the year. Depends on what is the year that they choose. So in the case of Nike, they have chosen that May 31st is the year end. So this is the balance sheet with balance sheet line items. And we are looking at the asset side of the balance sheet. This is not the complete balance sheet. There is, of course, liabilities and equity. We'll, we will see. Uh, but the asset side has current assets with their uh, amounts listed. And in this section, you see the top part is actually the list of current assets with the respective amounts here. And the bottom part is non-current assets.